All right guys, so today I'm gonna be making raccoon stretchers. I did my scroll stretcher video a few videos ago and here's my raccoon stretcher. So once you skin a raccoon, you stretch on his board so you can make a nice pelt out of it. So what I have here is some pine that we milled ourselves. And um, it's eight inches and then it is almost half inch thick. It's a, it's a little bigger. So once I gotta sand it down a little bit, but you, but you want your board at least eight inches wide and half inch thick. So we got two boards here, not perfect, but we'll get them there. All right, so the first thing you gotta do is have your center line. So half of eight inches is four. So you put a mark at four. And then I use a chalk line and put it on both both marks, both four inch marks, and made a chalk line. So the next step in the process is to cut your board to 48 inches or four foot. My board was cut at 49. off and then we'll continue the next step is so this is the top of your board all the way down to your bottom of your board or widest to narrowest up here so what you do measure down two inches and it's supposed to be three inches wide so you measure one and a half one and a half and then there's your, there's your three Measure down six. You need a, your board five inches wide. Two and a half, two and a half. Measure down to one foot. Your board needs to be six and a half. So you need three and a quarter, three and a quarter. Measure down again to two foot or 24 inches. You need a seven inch wide board here. So three and a half, three and a half. Measure down again to 36 inches. You need seven and a quarter. So it's three and five eighths and three and five eighths. Measure down all the way to the bottom. 48, should be 48. So at the bottom of your board, you need seven and a half. So you need three and three quarters, three and three quarters. And you are ready to pretty much draw your contour line of where it narrows. And I will show you guys what that looks like. All right, so this is what it should look like. Your outline here. So what I did is I used this straight edge. Went from this mark, this mark, this mark. Measure, did a straight edge like that. Lined them up and then I did this mark and this mark right here line that up and then I hand hand kind of did my curve up here so I mean it doesn't got to be perfect so you just gotta hand do that just like that same with the other side straight edged up to this point right here the, about the foot point and then I hand drew my curve up here so the next step is cutting out your outline that you got. So if you have a jigsaw, probably be the best option. Um, I'm sure a sawzall would work if you have a sawzall, but I'm going to be using a jigsaw. All right, so once you get it all cut out, this is what it should look like, or close to. looking pretty good not too hard so my board is not exactly half inch like I told you guys earlier um my board is a little bit it's like a 16th over so what I'm gonna do is take a belt sander sand that down to half inch and then we are going to round off the edges 
and the diesel will all be round right here. And I'm gonna use the belt sander with that. You can also use a palm sander or a file. In my last video, I used a file. It takes a while when your hands get beaten from the file, but I think I found an easier way of using the belt sander. We'll see how that works out. But I'll let you guys know. All right, guys, so I sanded her down. This guy, this guy's amazing. If you don't have one of these, go pick them up. Go pick one up because this made it so easy. I roughly rounded the edges. Sand this guy down. It's looking absolutely fantastic. Now, next thing you gotta do is just sand her with a 220 on a palm sander. 220 grit sandpaper. Get her down real, real smooth so it doesn't tear any holes in your hides when you're putting them on. And then you're pretty much done. All right, so here we are, all finished up, all sanded up. Sanded her with the 220. Really, really smooth. Round edges, really smooth round edges. Um, no splinters, no rips in your hider at all. So, I think it turned out pretty good. Very easy to make. So, I mean, I think that took me about half hour, 45 minutes maybe. So, not too bad. So, coon season trapping and hunting starts November 10th. So, and it is November 9th right now. So, gonna be hopefully getting some coons here soon to put on here and when I do I will show you guys keep you guys updated see um, what it looks like on here what you gotta do I can make another video how to stretch a coon on here but I am getting excited thank you guys for watching and I will see you in the next video